Yebo, yebo, yebo. Welcome to Watch Me Build It. This is my second watch build. And I want to begin with the inspiration for this watch. The inspiration for this watch is actually playing on the video on the screen behind me. Um, one of my watch heroes, TGV of the Urban Gentry, paired up with Squale and they produced a limited edition TGV watch. It's called the TGV Squale Limited Edition 60 Year and it's based on a mid-century diver. The specs on that watch, 39mm case with a 40.8mm bezel. It's got a beautiful uh, explorer-esque dial and it has uh, numerals at 12, 9, 3 and 6, um, the Arabic numerals. It's 12.45 it's, um, high, 48.5 lug to lug and it runs in ETA 2824. What I think uh, TGV got right was the color of the dial, a beautiful blue, it's got a box dome on the uh, sapphire crystal um, and they've even put a sapphire insert on the um, the bezel. I was watching the video um, of this watch just absolutely drooling over it and I had I just loaded up uh, to do my uh, I just done my first watch build and um, it was around about Black Friday and an idea hit me and the idea was I could build something quite similar to this so I got in touch with a friend and I said hey would you like me to build a watch for you and I've been inspired by this watch that TGV built and um, I think I can do something quite similar so uh, he signed up he said yes build it for me so I went to work and I bought the donor parts and imported them off of Aliexpress and then I, I, I built the watch so the donor parts uh, the day burr DT791703 that was the donor watch for this build added to that I put the Explorer dial onto that also from the Dayburs store fortunately the dial fits beautifully into this case no modification on the dial necessary um, I ended up using uh, vintage sword hands from the Bleager store they were $10 uh, the dial was $12.19 um, and the debut I think was $78 um, and then on the Yang Kui watch band store for $15.59 I found a beautiful sailcloth strap and I thought let me put these together and see if I come I'm never going to get to do what, what TGV did on this beauty of a watch um, but I think I came quite close the hands that I wanted to use on this build are not the ones that I did use. I actually found some beautiful hands. They, they are Blancpain um, 50 Fathoms um, shaped hands and I, uh, I bought those. Now where I went wrong was this watch comes with a seagull movement and I did some research to see what hands would pair well with a seagull and I went for the set that fits an ETA movement. So I want to share some of my learning with you in this. Um, the truth of the matter is that Seagull, they, there are two primary automatic movements that they make. They make the ST2130. That movement is more or less equivalent to the ETA2824 and it can take the 2824 parts. They make the ST1612. Now the ST1612, it pairs well with the Miyota 8215, 821A, as well as the Chinese movement, the DG2813. So if you're a watch builder, that can become very helpful information for you. I did try, uh, the, the, diff the, 28, the ETA2824 uh, or ST2130 ha hands, the hour hand, will fit on onto uh, the Miyota 8200 series um, movements. The minute hand however is a problem. The the hole in the minute hand is it's comma one millimeters smaller than what is necessary for the, the Miyota movements. I did try boring it out with my screwdriver. I did that quite effectively. The problem was that I think it was a 1.5 mil hole that I was looking for. My eyes are fading a little bit with my glasses and I actually used a 1.6 mil screwdriver. 
So when I tried to put the hand onto the ST1612 movement, it was too large. Um, and then the other problem, of course, with the 2824 hands is that the diameter of the tube on the second hand that goes over the pin on the sweeping second pinion is quite a bit larger than it is for the ST1612s or the 8214s or 8215s. So you actually need to squeeze it to make it small enough to get a friction fit, not the best solution. So yeah, if you're doing a watch build, when you're buying your hands, remember that pairing. The ETA2824 and the Seagull ST2130, they go together. Then the Miyota 8215, 8218A or 8200 series goes with the Seagull ST1612 or the DG2813. So hopefully that'll also help you as you're building your watches. In this video, you're gonna, you get, you'll realize I'm just gonna play music in the background. I might put up banners on the parts that I'm using, but I'm not doing any instruction on how to build a watch. Reason being, I'm an absolute novice. I make a total duff of it while I'm busy building. And I wouldn't want you to learn from me in any way more than just traveling with a fellow novice. If you wanna learn about watch building, there are a couple of channels that I'm enjoying. Um, the first is the Watch Repair channel. You'll find them, there's, uh, I subscribe to them on my channel and I'll put links below. The Watch Repair channel's great and um, the, the generator or the, the, the content producer of that channel, he also has a paid watch building course and I'd encourage you to sign up for that if you really wanna learn how to build a watch properly. Then there is another one that I really love, My Retro Watches. Um, that gent, um, he specializes in buying vintage Seikos and restoring them for his own pleasure. But what a beautiful channel to watch. And they do their job really well. Um, and and, and those, those channels are great specifically for getting into the, the deep dive and the mechanical builds on the watches. In, in terms of modding, <clears throat> There are two channels I have to recommend, um, Eric and Derek. Eric from The Loom Shot or Loom Shot and Derek from Live Watch. Man, those guys do an amazing job. They're very thorough, they're very meticulous, they're very clean. So if you wanna learn how to mod, have a look at those channels. Other instructive visit videos on the Long Island, uh, Long Island Watch channel by Mark are also amazing. So if you want to learn, don't learn from me, learn with me. I think that's probably what I wanna say. Please, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to watch the other videos in this channel. And don't forget to comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. But I hope you enjoy watching me build it.
So, what do you think? Did I come close? I definitely didn't do what TGV did. However, the result on this build was astounding. My next video is actually gonna be a head-to-head -head between my two builds. I'm calling this one the mid-century diver um, versus the other one which was the mid-century submariner. Um, obviously the submariner being the homage to the Rolexes. This is not a Rolex, of course I'm using you know, the cases from um, the mid-century Seamasters. It's got the beautiful coin edge bezel, um, box dome sapphire, uh, no date on it. So there are a lot of things that are not Rolex at all, but they are very mid-century diver. I really, 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 really have enjoyed this build. In the head-to-head -head video, I'm going to do a rating of this watch. Suffice to say, I was over the moon with this result. And my client was over the moon with this result. He really, really likes this watch. So I just want to say thank you for watching this one. And um, if you would be interested in having me build a watch like this for you, um, my email address is in the link below. Uh, click on that or load it into your, your email browser. Send me an email and we can chat about uh, what it would mean for you to build a watch like this for you. Of course, I'm not going to be able to charge the kind of money that it would cost to buy one of the Squiles. Those are 1,190 US dollars. If you have that kind of cash, I think it's worth buying one. Pop on over to Long Island Watch. I believe Mark's the only guy that sells this limited edition. If there are any in stock, snap it up because I promise it's the kind of watch I know you will enjoy and it's going to appreciate in value like nothing else I think. Well not nothing else but it's really going to appreciate well. So folks this has been Watch Me Build It, my second watch build and uh, I look forward to seeing you again. Cheerio.